Well, let's face it, what salute to summer, particularly summer in New York, New York, would be complete without a visit to the most beautiful island of them all. Yes, the jewel of the Atlantic. I'm talking about Coney Island. Let's go there now, shall we? New York City is, of course, the most exciting place in the world to live. And when hectic, busy New Yorkers need a place to go on vacation, they're very fortunate because they're surrounded by many wonderful island paradises in which to vacation. Of course, there's Staten Island, Roosevelt Island, Rikers Island. But the one island that's most popular with harried New Yorkers because it's dedicated to having fun is, of course, Coney Island. Ah, uh, you almost wish your feet were fireproof <laughs> under the boardwalk down by the sea yeah. on a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. One thing the first time visitor to Coney Island is gonna notice, uh, a lot of innovations here. Of course, you come right here and get your tickets, and as you do that, you can check your meat in this refrigerated meat locker. Ham, side of beef, whatever. Just leave it right there while you enjoy the park for the remainder of the day. Pick it up on your way home. It's for your convenience. This is the uh, Music Express at Coney Island. This accomplishes two things for the tourists from out of town. One, it gives you all the excitement of riding on the subway with a couple of guys with those 800-pound uh, radios. And also, it's a, a real center for people who know and appreciate good music. If, if you think I'm kidding, take a look who's here. Excuse me, Paul, you come here for the music primarily, don't you? Yes, I just come down to hang out. Well, I'm a friend of Larry's, a DJ. He's, sometimes he slips on some some of the heavy happening sounds for me. And I like to hang out with Stella and the kids. This is Stella here? here? Yeah. How do you do? How do you do? Nice to see you, Stella. Fine to see you, too. How long have you and Paul been coming here? Paul? Oh. <laughs> oh, for a long time. Don't give anything a away. long time. That's great. But this, uh, apparently, for people interested in music, is the place to be? This is a, uh, you know, they, as you can hear, they play all the happening dances. We put on a little Al Green earlier in our honor, I think, which is great. Have a good time. Thanks. Here we are with uh, Bill Berger, the official spokesperson for uh, Coney Island and more specifically Astroland. These people dancing back there, is that part of a professional uh, dance group? That <laughs> No, those are children having fun. Yeah. Uh, you find that at the Music Express and uh, this Apollo ride, which play rock music. Yeah. And uh, you'll find the public gyrating yeah. to the music. Tell me about the food here. I noticed that you, you have plenty of it. Is it pretty good uh, stuff to eat here? Well, it's a fast food concession, and it's uh, the best of its kind. It's a complete spectrum of the Coney Island kind of a thing. Uh, do you eat here yourself? Uh, I will occasionally eat here. I don't make a habit of it. Here's a pretty good deal for students who are more interested in sleeping than reading a lot of Italian verse, don't have the patience to get through a classic work like Dante's Inferno. Well, Coney Island has a ride that's uh, based factually on that uh, classic uh, work of literature. And in fact, I understand you can actually get high school and college credit simply by riding on this one here, Dante's Inferno. What's your, what's your name? Benz Basti. And uh, you operate uh, Dante's Inferno rides? All the rides, yeah. And, uh, do you find that you get a lot of literature students coming to ride on this? Oh, we get a lot of people down here that comes on here. Uh, which do you prefer, the ride or the book? <laughs> yeah, the book is better. Uh, does it seem to be a pretty factual representation of the classic Italian literature? Yes, actually it was, but they forgot the Pope standing on his head in the, in the ice river, yeah. So which, which did you prefer, the ride or the book? The ride. Excuse me, can I can I talk with you a second? Why? Did you you just wrote uh, Dante's Inferno? Yes. How does it compare with the book? <laughs> Here's the real center of pride for all of Coney Island and all of America, for that matter, the Astro Tower. Of course, this was the first Astro Tower in the United States. I think we all remember that day in 1959 when we learned that the Russians had built their Astro Tower and 
Well, thanks to Coney Island shortly thereafter, we were all even in the Astro Tower race. Here's kind of an interesting but sad footnote to the history of Coney Island. Right up until a couple of months ago, it looked like Coney Island would be the home of the 1984 Olympics. As you can see from this fine facility behind me, they had this pavilion built, and of course, beyond that, they had the luxury housing for the athletes, but Los Angeles, California got the bid uh, when it was determined in a late meeting that kiddie car races would not be an Olympic event. You know, the one thing you don't have to worry about when you come to Coney Island as you're enjoying yourself on these exciting rides is your safety, and that's because each and every one of these rides is inspected on a regular basis to make sure that you can ride in complete safety. Uh, this is my favorite ride right here. This one is so exciting that, oh, good Lord. Now, this thing was here this morning. Yes, the legendary Spookorama, perhaps the most popular attraction here at Coney Island. And anytime you come here, you say to yourself, boy, this reminds me a lot of, well, some of the more popular Disney exhibits like Pirates of the Caribbean. And I think it's no secret that they got a lot of their really good ideas from this exhibit right here. Again, the key word is lifelike. Everything here is really lifelike. Here's one of the most lifelike features about this. The guy taking tickets. Batman is here, and where else would Batman be but the toilets? What's the best part about working here at Spookorama? Getting paid. It's kind of an interesting uh, agreement that Coney Island has worked out with the Transit Authority. Of course, for 75 cents, you take your subway ride there, and by the time you're at the end of the line, you've enjoyed a thrill of a lifetime over there on these new tracks. <laughs> Here's another uh, interesting center of entertainment, fun, recreation, and also music. This is, of course, the popular rock and roll ride here on uh, Coney Island. Hey, it seems, hey, to be, come here. seems to be quite popular. Yeah. Come on in here. <laughs> Look who's here. It's come on. Paul. I... Get into this. I'll help your image with the kid. <laughs> yeah? I'll sit right down here. No, this is not dangerous, is no, it? No, no, no. This is, I've been riding on this thing all day. It's great. This is the rock and roll. You know, I don't know whether you heard they had a lot of problems here at one time with the gang wars and the kids, you know, teenage gangs. This has straightened it all out. They set up this thing. It's it's part youth center ride, and it's really wholesome. There's no drugs yeah. or drinking or anything, just loud music and yeah. good, clean fun, and I hang out here. You pretty much stand for good, clean fun, don't you? I have in my career. I have tried to stand for that. I do what I can, you know, for the kids. I know, I know it's an image that not only the kids appreciate, but mom and dad also. I try to, well, you know, I want to span all the demographics. Look what they have over here, just, just to bring in the crowd. They got, you know, graphics of a, the old, that's Gary U.S. Bonds, but the old Gary U.S. Bonds. Not, not like since Springsteen has got yeah, all of them. Yeah. I think that's Mary Wells. Uh -huh. That guy there, it's, it's, he's left-handed. It's probably McCartney on bass. Yeah. But beside him, I don't know whether you remember Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas. And how long have you been writing on this? I've been about eight, geez, about eight hours now. That's great. By the way, this is you. This is the second island that you've told me to come to. The yeah. first one was, you know. Bermuda. You didn't care. But for you were right about this Coney Island. You were right about this. You and wrote I, a song about Coney Island. I've got a song about Coney Island. Could we you, hear should it? I do yeah, it? Yeah, let's hear it. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, no music or anything. Coney Island. <laughs> it's a cuckoo place. Nutty kind of space, Coney Island. I don't know. That's it. great. Coney Island. That's a, that's a knockout. Thank you very much, Paul. Yeah, thank you. Nice to Enjoy talk. yourself. Nice right. talking to you. Start this thing up. Well, I guess I don't have to tell proud Americans and space enthusiasts about the significance of Apollo 11, but here it is at Coney Island on loan from NASA. Uh, actually, Coney Island uh, outbid the World's Fair in Knoxville for this exhibit. And as you can hear in the background, they're recreating some of the psychological testing that was conducted on the astronauts during the voyage of Apollo 11. And I, for one, am proud to be a part of it, even here on firm ground. So, ladies and gentlemen, I got a treat for you today. We got a special guest on, the DJ, Brown Shakers. We want to give them another Hey, thank you. It's great to be here. Thanks for listening to Paul Lennon. I'd like to start things off with a little thing I've written myself, especially for you, Pocket People. It's something incredible. 
You think of Coney Island, you think of big thrills like the cyclone, but the overlooked aspect of Coney Island, they have some amusements for the quieter, more contemplative members of our society, and this is the best attraction to represent that. You have the, the pinwheel, and then of course, the empty cup of soda with the straw. Uh, beneath all of this, of course, uh, and self-explanatory, I feel, the tarp, and then the wet, pieces of corrugated cardboard. Just imagine the fun you can have. Yeah, not doing a lot of business now. Sometimes people like to just stand behind it and wave, but when the temperature heats up a little bit, you're gonna see a lot of long lines to participate in this one. Well, no, getting around it, the best time to be at Coney Island, of course, is nighttime. That's when things really start to happen. And once again, you could have fooled me, but here he is. Paul Schaefer. Paul, what are you doing here? This is where I like to come at the end of the day to the disco, you know, after everything kind of cools down. Well, it, the temperature cools down, but the, the intensity and the sexual excitement kind of heats up, and I, I like to find it right here in the disco. It's happening. Now, now what about the argument? Is, uh, is disco... Uh... A lot of people think disco's dead. You know, people are saying that. I think this proves it, though. It's happening out here in Coney Island. This is the place. And, and what exactly is, is this device here? This is what they call a, just before you go into the disco, this is a disco simulator. It just gets you ready, you know. You can work on some of the moves, and it's in tempo, you know, with the music. You get yourself going, and then you head in there for the heavier action a little later on. You know? I like to spend a lot of time out here first, though. Make sure I'm really warmed up, ready to go in. Oh, well, it's another innovation for Coney Island, the disco simulator. Listen, come on in. There's a couple of local chicks I want you to meet. Come on in here. Sure, sure. Yes, here we are at our last stop on Coney Island. One last chance to listen to the gentle sounds of the surf of the Atlantic Ocean lapping up against the shores of beautiful Coney Island. You know, we've had an awful lot of fun here today, maybe a little too much fun, and when you have this kind of nonstop fun, you get a little tired, but you know, it's a good kind of tired. This is Coney Island. Thank you very much for being with us. Drive safely. And as they say here on Coney Island, good night.